Hello and welcome back to Arise, a simple story. A simple story. <clears throat> All right, so where we last left off, um, we found out that the, that the baby died. That is what we found out. And now we're finding that out again, really, because I quit like right after this. <clears throat> so this level is called Ashes. Huh. It's a little weird that my character, um... Surely he'll be able to walk again, like, normally again soon. I understand, like, why he's supposed to be depressed and everything. I'm not, uh, suggesting that doesn't make sense, but, like... <clears throat> I have to have some capacity to... Okay, there we go. I can move. I don't know, honestly. Um, anyways, I was saying earlier that I thought this game would eventually get, like, a fire, um, thing going on, and maybe it will with this level. Oh, we're back to vines, I guess. I think what's interesting about this, uh, here is that it looks like the vines can probably crush you and kill you if you are not careful with the timing. Okay, I do see what looks like fire. Oh, okay, I can hook onto this. Okay. Well, that's a bit grim. Come on, hook on it. Oh, shit. Oh, we got all orange. It means death in a painful way. <clears throat> we All right, now time to go back to the uh, fork. Guess move time forward so that these uh, vines move out of the way. And now move time backwards so that these other vines move out of the way. I hope this doesn't turn into a maze. That would be a pain in the ass. <clears throat> or at least could be. Okay, move time forward? Okay. Hop. Okay, so yeah, now the vine can be a platform. I'm guessing f actual fire, uh, <clears throat> like changing with time will happen eventually. This is giving me Lost Isolith vibes a little bit, to be honest. Oh, and just like Lost Isolith, this game is making its part a pain in the goddamn ass. Let's see. And I... Okay. okay, so we do have to manipulate fire. So my guess is I have to then... Run really. Ooh. 
This is a bit weird. This is a bit... Let me see if I can get a better camera angle on this. They just like lost his little cancer. Cancer ahead. Oh, wait, here's something I pro Oh, shit. Bullshit! How'd they all- God damn it. I guess the smoke doesn't damage me really, it's only just the fire, so like that coughing probably means nothing, functionally speaking. Okay. Alright, there we go. Oh, would you look at that? It's me. Oh, oof. Yep. Mm. See, I mean... I thought it'd be more like fire changes the environment, like it burns through stuff, not... Oh, it impacts light, so it does stuff with this ghost mechanic you didn't like from a few chapters ago. This annoying mechanic that, um... Basically just, it's, I don't like it. I don't like the ghosties. I see there's a memory over there. Let's see if I can get to it. Looks like I can. <clears throat> hmm. Is anything gonna come here for me to latch onto? Not that I can see, but it's probably a whole bunch of ghosts he's going through with that fire. All right, I guess it's gotta jump for it. All right, another memory. Ooh. Fire went out. I wonder if that's to what extent that is meant to be a metaphor, because there's a few ways that could be taken, I think. So is this curl back or something, or what? Yep. Okay, there we go. That's the kind of um, way I was hoping for a fire to affect the environment. Although I suppose that could, that's a bit more one-dimensional than some other ways it can affect the environment. Well, I mean, actually, I could see ways they make the... Oh, I thought I was going to slide down that. I could see ways they could make the platforming, like, really cool there. Oh! Okay. I guess destroying and rebuilding paths is kind of cool. I like it more than the ghost mechanic, although the ghost mechanic having to do with it is a bit more interactive. <clears throat> yes, this is, uh... Your life just burning around you, main character, Mr. Hero. Uh... Sorry, you just have bad luck, I guess, and ooh, great. It's one of the- it's the ghosties again. My favorite mechanic. Part of 
Part of the problem is uh, how hard it is for me to actually know where I'm meant to go. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, I need a fire to at least be like somewhat out there. And this is a little awkward. Oh, come on! I'm landing on ash. It's practically like soft, right? That's how ash works. You fall on ash, it's not gonna hurt. Oh, uh, toasty again. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Come on, let me get a hook on there. Oop. See how so that goes grows taller when I move through time, so I needed to go lower actually. And get like basically the flames right there. How am I supposed to jump that then? Surely it's not just, is that actually just the fall that's killing me? It might be. So how low can I actually get this to go? Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, but see, that's definitely death. If it's, uh, that's way too much heat. Fire. And now I'm failing in a totally different way. Maybe I'm wrong to assume that I need to go that way. <laughs> well, I don't see anything else I can work with though, so there is that as a bit of an issue with my theory. Yep, yep, don't want to heat up too much. Don't want to burn to death. I'm going to call that heating up. I mean, that's as, I mean, if it goes higher, that's not what I want. The thing is, it only goes so low. Unless, oh, I need to go way back. That's what I need to do. I'm stupid. I was assuming I had to jump, and there's no good reason to assume that. Or I actually really was more afraid that I was going to die if the fire went too close to me for too long there or something. 
Yeah, like this will inch forward slightly and have the flames follow you. This is not really that um, fun or innovative, I don't think. <clears throat> like, I don't know. I hope I can take that fall, right? It's not too big. Okay, yep, that's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I totally should be able to survive that. Yep, okay, game. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to do what I did last time, except in reverse. I'm gonna have to hook here and then let everything burn up. Somehow this doesn't get burned, though, so that's all. That's nice and lovely. But wait, I can't go back up there. At least I don't think I can. Oh, I can go back up there. It's just going to be a pain in the ass. Great. Come on, hop up. And you have some light to scare off the ghosties. So I guess um, whenever he's like alone in his life, that's when he, uh... Well, I mean, I think he's still with his wife, like, in this part of the story, like the backstory part, but I don't know. That seems to be when he has the ghost, when he's in more difficult times in his life. No. Oh god. Not the hole. Again, like, run an inch back to the fire slightly. Not the most innovative or fun. Let's get rid of the fire. And me thinks more ghosties are coming, though I guess I can't be too sure. Uh, I guess the little was at least a bit aesthetically pleasing. Fun stuff. <clears throat> so I wonder if I'm going to go back out into like the snow, like I was before, or if it's going to be something else. Also, rock climbing, something else I really love in this game. It's never obnoxious at all. It never feels tedious in any way, shape, or form. Like, it's never just a whole bunch of, uh, hoppy hop hop hop. Like, right now, I'm not even sure it's moving out of the way or just moving out of the way, way of my vision. I think it's just moving out of my sight. Which, again, feels a little lame to me, but whatever. Up. My guess is if I die, uh, that one thing becomes like a safe spot. Yeah, like, all it is is it blocks my vision. That's not even really a problem because the game basically hops for you. Like, you don't have to really see too well what you're doing. Alright, Ashes achievement complete. Um, not my favorite level. Definitely not my favorite. Maybe not my least favorite, but not my favorite. Well, it's nice to see that maybe there's some hope coming through.
Okay, so I am back out in the snow. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what's next. Oh, great. Crying wife. That's, that's always a great sign. I'm sure he's in for some good... She's crying tears of joy after some good news that happens after what just happened. That's definitely it. Hmm. Well, it looks like it could be a space level. Okay. Solace. I was kind of mentioning how having the uh, climbing on the rock that was moving was a bit like Mario Galaxy. That kind of feels like that a little bit too. Ooh, and there's lower gravity. Okay, this level is already kind of piquing my interest. Oh, yeah, this is... That also means I can presumably take a lot longer uh, falls because of the lower gravity. The only thing I'm a bit worried with this level is it might be a little uh, drawn out and f because of how floaty it is. I do like how the uh, smashed rock has like uh, gems inside of it. That's very nice looking. Oh, I can hook on to Oh, I can hook onto it and bring it in. Okay. There we go. Oh, but I don't get to see it anymore. Don't get to see the prettiness. Next level, I'm going to totally uh, overestimate my jumping ability, and it's going to be awful. Uh, can I hit you now? Let me do that in front of this kid so I can see the animation start. Oh, well, duh, I need to move time around to get closer first. Duh. To reel the part of the planet in, or you know, whatever this is. I guess it's more like a hunk of just a hunk of land, but yeah, to reel that in like a fish, you, you gotta move time a little bit first. Um, hmm. I would be inclined to think I need to go down here, but I'm not sure where I meant to go after that. Oh, I know where you want to go. This feels even weirder when you're kind of traveling through blank space, essentially. Like, I'm, what am I even on? Like, an, an Aurora? Oh, there we go. I gotta still travel through in a weirdish way. So I'm kind of going through the earlier levels, I think, which is... This is level 8, uh, I believe. So, I think first was snow, then the uh, one with the bugs. Then level 3 was the uh, one with the rock slides, number 4 was the one with the ghost, 5 was the lily pad, 6 was the fruit, 7 ashes, yeah, so 8. Okay, that thing, I think that's like, oh yeah, okay. So that um, snail shell from this angle to me looked kind of like Among Us, you know, Among Us. <laughs> I can actually, there's actually a tool now where I can draw out what I'm talking about, but I don't think I quite want to. You can see it, you can totally see the Among Us. See, like there's a the little feetsies and everything. I mean, it's in space too, so definitely Among Us. Sus.
But I say, shouldn't die from that. There's a little G. Can I get that? Yay, nay. Maybe not yet. There we go. That fits really weirdly here, but okay. I'll, 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 I'll bite. I still got a rock climb even in space. Uh, should I be able to get like a really, really good jump off of this and not have to do as many goes? Come on. I mean, it just feels a little weird though that I'm doing like a level recap when there's two left. Like, well, I guess it's pro. Maybe doing it as the second to last one would be a bit too much. And doing it, you definitely wouldn't want. Well, the last one could also do it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying dumb shit. I should be able to. I think because of the low gravity, I can just drop onto this, right? That shouldn't be a death. It's not. Good. Okay. See another memory. No, I'm gonna have to go rock climbing again. Son of a gun. Alright, let's go mushroom jumping some more. Platformers need mushrooms. It's a rule. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to move time a bit more. Maybe the other way? Ayo, B. Oh, there is uh, another place to hop here. Because of how, like, out I am, I guess, from everything, like how big of a world this is, it feels like I'm smaller, um, like, relative to the map on this one more than any other one so far. Okay, so now the sunflowers are shifting, not with wind, but just, like, the planets. I think I'm even call just going to call them planets, but the planets that they're on are moving. Which is kind of awesome. Oh, yeah. Wee. Okay, I think I know how to get there now. There we go, much better. New memory. There's still Morning over it. <clears throat> hmm. trying to think how I'm supposed to go. One thing I don't like about this level is because of how like floaty everything is, the amount of time it takes to kind of move really from one place to another is a bit annoying. And like you can do stuff like that that just kills you. I mean that was me effing up, but it, it just gets a little more annoying in some ways, you know. Um, however, let's see, this is where the memory was. Oh yep, I do need to go off of here. I think. Can I uh, fall onto this pedal here so I don't die? All right, once I hit there, I need to... 
Am I not supposed to go there? I thought I really was. I mean, that's what it looks like it's supposed to be. Oh, wait a minute. I know. Maybe not. I, I think I have to kind of use that to jump in a way that's a little bit different. Like here right now, that jump is not as far down? I think he's grunting, knowing I'm just saying him to his death. Alright, maybe I just need... I don't know, the game doesn't really... I would say, that, you know, this game actually doesn't want to send you back much, but I am also on a memory, which tends to not really be like a true path out, so to speak. Yep, I was just wasting a bunch of time there. I don't know why I didn't see this. It's not exactly that hard to see this path. Okay. I'm not sure what that thing is over there. When am I close enough to pull it in? I don't know. Oh, wait, do I have to be over here? Because that's like... I don't even know. Um, here's probably the way the two masses are the closest overall. Ooh, yep, that's death. No, wait, uh, actually, am I close enough here? There we go. That's an annoying little sweet spot you need to have. Oh well. Although I suppose you can see that's that's where this uh, piece of earth goes closest. So, oh, that's the kite. That's what that is. Okay. In my experience, I want to kind of um. Actually, I think I want to move forward in time, at least a little bit. I'm clearly meant to catch this thing. Uh, meant to, does mean I am going to. Yep, fly me to wherever the hell that is. What? I didn't even slow it down. Okay, so am I getting closer to this at all? Looks more like I'm getting farther away. Is that maybe just... I guess I can't... Oh, I'm actually not supposed to go towards it. Okay. I'm supposed to go away from it. Oof. I thought that was supposed to be something I was going towards. And this level feels, I mean, in a way, it, it's almost more, like, I don't, you could make an argument that this is actually a very simplistic way of doing, like, a time shift, because it's not even really time in this, it's, like, it is, but it's not like burning, something changing, it's just position changing over time is kind of what I'm trying to say. So it's a little different. Oh, this is cool, though, because we know how this is supposed to work. So 
So yeah, this really is uh, right here, Super Mario Galaxy. Into the abyss. Okay, I don't think I'm meant to go that way yet, exactly, quite yet, but... Yeah, cool stuff. Okay, there's another planet right there. I think. Maybe? Yep, yep. I think I know what I want to do here, but it's going to be kind of weird. I think I need to go around and change this planet's uh, rotation so I can hook onto this one. Fuck, I did it too quickly. No! Twisty, twisty. Oh, there's a. Maybe it's good that I died so I could find this memory. Alright, now I need to move on to this next planet. <clears throat> and hook onto that tree. Move forward in time. Now move back. I actually a little bit forgot I can slow the time as well. Like slowly move time with uh, the down key, the down arrow. Is it? Can I not hook onto that yet? I didn't really just need the angle to be like that to hook onto it. Alright, forward in time. <clears throat> so I can just drop down off this tree onto the other planet. And this one's like a actual planet, right? It has two trees on it. Very planety, right? Oop. Alright. I think I still like the lily pad level more, uh, romance, but this one is, a uh, definitely a level I like more. Maybe I just like blue. Whee! Oh, I wonder if this is meant to be like the rock slide part of the game. Uh, the away part. Well, actually, I should be able to pull these together. Like this, shouldn't I? Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh, I can just jump it. I think. Ah! God damn it. There we go. And now I can hook it. Hook up and put these back together.
Yoink. Uh, you? Almost there. Excellent. Excuse me. God damn it. Am I not close enough? Oh, yeah. Ah, move time, stupid. Oh yeah, okay, so this is like the away part. Because that's where they uh, were, you know, like, unable to reach each other at the end. But now I'm pulling it together. There we go. Hopefully there's no ghost in the cell for the, if there is an alone part. <clears throat> well, they're going past the, oh, they didn't actually have that. Nice, we're going straight to lily pads. I'm assuming the water here acts like water. And that I actually can drown in it. Wait, what? Okay, yes, I can. Oh! The, I, uh, ac I moved, like, the time and space a little bit too much when I was jumping, so that kind of killed me. I'm like, oh, let's just see if the water moves, and it doesn't, really. The platform will move, but the water will not. I mean, at this point, we're almost back where we started. Well, back at, like, the level we have. Because we have fruit and ash left to get where we are. So I think we're done, because it wouldn't make sense to have us redo that, I don't think, in this. So I guess it was, like, a good memories with her kind of thing. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we're, we're gonna go through... Oh! No, that looks like more of the uh, romance level, though. Yeah, more lilies. Aw, oh, isn't that adorable? Solace. There we go. Nice. All right. So, two more levels left. Am I going to go back to the snow? Yes, I am. All right, I'm going to, however, uh, end this stream now because uh, really just I want it to be, I guess, kind of even. And I don't think the next two are going to be that long each. Might be a bit long. They'll definitely be longer than this video or probably will be, but I don't know. Yeah, anyways, um, I'll have that out. I'll be doing that soonish. Until then, bye bye.